idea. It's a big idea. It's large. It's quite large. <laughs> but I've always been really intimidated by these large clocks because Why? they look really heavy, heavy yeah. and they look like it's hard construction. Right. But I no, actually, actually very, found yeah. this. It is so amazing. It's poplar uh, craft wood and it is it's and it's almost like balsa yeah. wood. It's really Good. light and I mean it's not it does yeah. weigh a couple pounds. Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, it's to. so much different than getting like one by tens or mm -hmm. or creating something out of a big piece of wood. I did not whittle this down. I bought right. it this thin. <laughs> well, you did I saw you it. earlier. Yeah, yes. we have a tape of you earlier this morning. Let's take a look. That's right. So this is that poplar. It's quarter inch thick by seven and a quarter inch wide. Lay them all out on a flat surface. You want to make sure you have a flat surface. These are regular one by fours. I'm going to use these as my cross braces. Take some wood glue, put them on the back, and then I used one inch drywall screws just to put, put those inside. I started out just doing two aboard. I think I ended up with 75 aboard, uh, but we can look when we turn around. Really wanted to make sure it was in there good. So then I went 22 inches inside. I put a screw in the middle, Use this. This is very high tech, a way to do this. You actually just cut string and put it at your desired circle diameter, and then you can go oh, all the way around. Cute. Yes, it's MacGyver. It, it's quite MacGyverish. Yes, no protractor needed. So then I took wallpaper and cut it down to the size of each board. And you can do this with the same color wallpaper or switch it up. Then I took Mod Podge and put wallpaper on. I don't suggest doing that at home on your walls, but for this, it works <laughs> perfectly. And then I took a jigsaw and cut out the circle that I cut with my very fancy protractor. Took a hand sander. You can do this by hand or with the electric sander. And then marked the middle of the clock, still 22 inches. Want to make sure your circle's good. I drilled a hole in it and put the clock mechanism in. And this actually, I wanted to keep this one. It was a little too thick for my project. So mm. I switched it out for a thinner one mm -hmm. and I used a silver one that there. That looks nice with the colors you chose. Thank you, thank All right. you. Well, so how do you put that, yeah. how do we get the we clock We put it together. together. This, um, it actually, it's really, really easy. So don't be scared of this at home. So check this out. You take the clock mechanism and I'll turn it around to show that all it takes is a AA battery, which I did not put in. So this this does not tell time Sometimes quite yet. Right. No. And then you take the big hand, you push it all the way down on there, and then you take the little hand and you push it down on there, and then you take the second hand and that goes on the top, just like that, and it clicks all together. And there that's you go. it? That's it. That's how you, that's how Father Time? That's how that's Father how Time did it, yes. Did oh, it. So interesting. easy. So, right. and now that, we'll just leave that there. Love We're missing the, the midnight hour. The 12. Yeah. The that. noon or midnight. Mm -hmm. You guys discuss while I put it on. <laughs> um, just Craft taking, store uh, numbers? Actually, I just, I found them online. They're mm -hmm. little acrylic numbers. And right now, all I'm doing is adding super glue to the back of this. They actually do come with adhesive, but it said use it on drywall. And since my, my surface is a little more rough, mm -hmm. I went ahead and added some extra glue for stability. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. We put it on there. And once it's in, in this place. is super glue. Yeah. Just, it just, get. <laughs> da, da, yeah. Da, da. just give I us some know. waiting time and we're good. I was going to make one of these, mm -hmm. actually, but I didn't have the time. Oh, why did I know <laughs> he was going to do that? I, knew I had that. to get it in. I was trying to fill time. That's what uh, I was yes. trying to do. Oh, okay. there's another time reference. Oh, my oh gosh. gosh. We could just leave it like that, right? It, it's also it's a statement. I don't know if it's the best <laughs> statement to make. All right, but so we're cleating this to the wall, right? Yes. Is that what yep, here, and you guys can look in the back here. You guys can see that. This is actually called a French cleat. Um, and then you can see my 75, just to make sure that it's <laughs> really in there. But a French cleat actually attaches to the wall, and then all you have to do is put it on top of that. Can you see it? I think so, but my depth of field is a little bit off. I know, I'm so. way high. Oh, oh, perfect. See. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, there we, we go. Partly there. And once oh, it's perfect. in, it's going to be really stable. What time should we make it? Um, can we make it five minutes ago? Because I, I don't want to feel any lower. I'll just back older. it up. There we go. Perfect. There go. I feel younger. I feel much <laughs> younger now.